Shalom, my friends. I hope you are all having a nice day, and it is good to see you this afternoon as I come to you with another message at the beginning of this week. I hope you had a nice Shabbat that was refreshing and relaxing, and it was so good to see so many of you at our annual meeting yesterday. First, I want to say mazel tov to our new board of directors for um, their election by our community to lead our congregation. And thank you to Dan Rosen and our outgoing board of directors for all of the work that they've done over the past year, leading us and guiding our community, especially over the past few months as we had to really change our focus in this new world. In addition to wishing Mazel Tov to our new board of directors, I also want to wish a Mazel Tov to our new C. Diddy board, which was elected last night. And I want to announce to all of you who they are, these teens that will lead our youth over the next year. Nikki Skyer will be the new CDD president, Sasha Cole, the programming vice president, Ethan Cole, the social action vice president, Brooke Hartman will be the religious and cultural vice president, Sam Liu, the membership vice president, and Leah Colt, the communications vice president. <clears throat> so mazel tov to all of you. I'm really excited to get to work with you as well as your advisors, Eric and Jamie, in the coming year just to see what kind of great programming and excitement that you bring to our teens. In our Torah portion this week, we read Bamidbar, the wilderness. We begin the book of Numbers by going into this wilderness, going into the unknown, journeying from Sinai into a place where we do not know. And just as we enter this Torah portion and this new book, we are about to enter the summer months months typically reserved in the life of most synagogues for planning and looking to the fall, looking to the next programmatic year with the high holy days and the start of religious school. And that won't change this year. We are currently in the midst of a very in-depth discussion, looking at the high holy days, looking at religious school, looking at all of the things that we do and seeing how they can continue to be held whether in person or virtually, how we can balance the safety of our community as well as our spiritual and educational and communal needs. And I invite you to be part of that process. If you have thoughts or ideas or concerns, please don't hesitate to call me or email me at rabbi at doortamid.com so that we can be in conversation as we look to open up our building, hopefully in the near future, in a safe and thought out way. As I said yesterday in the meeting, more information will come out in the coming weeks, both about the eventual phased reopening of our building and about what the High Holy Days will look like next year. And I want to ensure each of you that we are doing our best to put at the forefront the ideas of pikuach nefesh, the idea that saving and protecting life is at the forefront of Jewish teaching, but also keeping in mind the strong desire that I have and I know that each of you have to return to our congregational home. This week, we have a lot going on as normal on our virtual CDT uh, cycle. Tomorrow night, please join with Mike for another musical moment with Mike at 7 o'clock on Facebook. And then on Wednesday morning at 11, I invite you to join with me as we continue on Zoom our discussion of the Book of Leviticus during our weekly Torah study session. On Thursday, the Prime Timers will continue their weekly discussion of Jewish-themed movies, and we will be discussing the Academy Award-winning Best Picture movie, A Gentleman's Agreement. So I hope you will all join me for what each week has proven to be a very interesting discussion as we look at the Jewish themes and values and lessons found in all of these films. Immediately after that at 11 o'clock, Molly will be teaching us on Facebook how to make falafel. I've been waiting for this one for a while, so I have to say personally, I'm very excited for this installment of Molly's Israeli Kitchen. <clears throat> then on Friday night, we're gonna do something a little bit different for services this week. Just as always, we will stream our services on our website and on our Facebook page, but I'd like to invite each of you, if you want, to join us on the Zoom as well. To join Mike and me on Zoom, 
for worship, for prayer, for singing and for stories. And then afterwards, after we finish the service, we're going to turn off the streaming portion of our service and continue with a virtual Oneg Shabbat. The link to the Zoom will be sent out later this week in the weekly e-announcements on Thursday. So I hope you will join us in any of those three methods for services and then afterwards for our Oneg Shabbat so that we can all see one another and talk to one another after services. We have other things coming up in the summer and I invite you to keep an eye out on our Facebook page, on our weekly email and on our newsletter which will be coming out at the beginning of June for all of these things coming up on virtual CDT. I hope to see you all soon virtually and God willing in the near future in person and want to wish you a happy, healthy and safe week.